Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jen Lawler and this channel is where I share the healing knowledge that I've learned from over three decades of personally walking the healing path and helping others do the same. So the content that I provide on this channel is for people who are on a dedicated healing journey. People who haven't given up on the possibility of experiencing their lives without inner conflict. People who believe that it's possible, but just haven't found their way quite yet. So if this describes you, and you really long to experience the feeling of being deeply connected to your truth, and able to be yourself and understand yourself, then please continue watching this video because you're going to learn the theory behind my approach to emotional healing and how I help people do the inner work it takes to get there. So what exactly is my theory of how we humans heal our emotional wounds? Well, what I've discovered from my own personal experience and from working professionally with clients from around the world is that healing naturally occurs when we give our wounds concentrated, embodied awareness in the presence of an attuned, non-judgmental, loving other person. So I know that's a mouthful, so let me explain in a little simpler terms. Healing involves going directly into your core wounds with another person present who can be there with you holding a non-judgmental and loving space while you stay with the stuck negative emotions and beliefs right in the center of the wound feeling all the emotions and beliefs for as long as it takes for them to naturally process and then transmute from a negative cycle of inner conflict to an almost indescribably beautiful state of inner wisdom, connection, compassion, and joy. This work that I do is extremely powerful, and it works incredibly well because it's based on three fundamental truths about healing. Truth number one, life energy is continually moving toward balance. You've seen this in action time and time again. For example, you accidentally cut your finger with a kitchen knife, and as long as you keep your finger clean, it just heals without you having to do anything about it. Or a storm blows a group of trees in a forest over, leaving a gap in the canopy, making room for seedlings to access sunlight, and the forest just grows back. All of life, which of course includes you, is perpetually moving toward a state of harmony and balance. So at this point, you may be wondering, well, then why am I still suffering when I've tried so many things to heal? And that's a really good question, which brings us to the second truth about healing. Truth number two, you must be ready to heal and know how to treat your wounds. So most people who are suffering, want their suffering to end, of course. But they're either not ready to let go of their suffering because there's some element of their suffering that they're not ready to part with. Or they simply don't know how to take care of their wounds, which I'll tell you more about when we talk about truth number three. But for now, let's talk a little bit more about why you need to be ready to heal. Remember I said I guide people directly into their core wounds? Yeah. It's not easy. It's often scary and painful and requires not only courage, but it also requires us to say goodbye to the parts of ourselves that live in the wound, parts that we've outgrown. And although you may feel like you'd be more than happy to ditch your anxious, ashamed, addicted, or angry self, that part of you has been with you for a long time, and there's grief in letting it go. You have got to be ready to heal for healing to happen. You can be scared, you can be unsure, but you've got to be all in, ready to go deep, get messy, and be vulnerable. And finally, truth number three, concentrated embodied awareness in the presence of a loving, non-judgmental other transmutes imbalance into balance. When we turn toward our emotional wounds with concentrated embodied awareness, and what I mean by embodied awareness is that you're not in your head looking at your pain or inner conflict from a distance, but you're in your body experiencing the sadness, experiencing the shame, the anger, whatever it is, you're there feeling it all in your body and mind. 
And when you do this, what you're doing is you're giving that suffering part of yourself time to process, time to metabolize. You're giving it the gift of being compassionately seen and heard without judgment for as long as it takes. You consciously stay with your emotions and beliefs for as long as it takes, and it's usually not long, for them to process and naturally settle down and transmute from a negative cycle of inner conflict into a beautiful state of clarity, compassion, and joy. And in case you're wondering, why is it necessary to heal in the presence of a loving, non-judgmental other? It's because we are relational beings, and your emotional wounds were created in relationship, and therefore they need to heal in relationship. Now, this is not to say that you can't heal on your own. Certainly you can, and I do, and I teach others to heal on their own as well. But when it comes to core wounds... What I've found is that we really do need a loving, compassionate other to gently be there and guide us when needed as we travel into and through our deep emotional wounds. So now that you're aware of the three fundamental truths about healing, I want to introduce you to another concept that may or may not be new to you. It's called your emotional body. And kind of like an aura, you can't see your emotional body, but Unlike an aura, almost everybody can feel their emotional body. So when you feel happy or you feel anxious or depressed, what you're experiencing are sensations in your emotional body and thoughts in your mind. Now, when you're suffering, you have a lot of invisible wounds on this emotional body of yours. It's not a clean slate. So I want you for a moment to imagine that the inner conflicts that you're experiencing are actual wounds on this emotional body of yours. And most of the time, these wounds may not be in your conscious awareness. You may only experience them when something or someone pokes at them. And then in an instant, the wound gets triggered and the whole negative cycle of inner conflict floods into your conscious awareness. And then at this point, through absolutely no fault of your own, you likely do what 99.9% of people do, and that is whatever you can to distract yourself from the pain. But here's the thing. Remember the three truths about healing. Truth number one, life energy is continually moving toward balance. Truth number two, you must be ready to heal and know how to treat your wounds. And truth number three, concentrated embodied awareness in the presence of a loving, non-judgmental other transmutes imbalance into balance. Your emotional wounds are barging into your life, causing you pain because they're screaming for your attention. They're trying to get the concentrated embodied awareness that's required for healing to occur. They're trying to get processed. They're trying to get metabolized so you can return to a state of balance, but they keep getting stuck in a negative inner cycle of inner conflict because they aren't getting the kind of attention they need. They're getting what they've always got, either some form of rejection or unconscious embodiment. In other words, you suppress it or you get swallowed up in it. And like a puppet, you go through the motions performing the role of your wounded part. Now, both of these reactions are ineffective. And I talk about why they don't work in other videos So be sure to stick around on my channel and keep watching. Okay, I know this has been a lot, so I hope this short video gives you a pretty good feeling for the theory behind my approach to healing trauma and inner conflicts and what kind of content you can find on this channel. So if you resonate with what you've heard here today and you feel like you can learn from me, then I encourage you to keep watching videos on my channel or If you already know that you'd like to work with me or have a look at my digital products, head over to my website. I've left a link in the description down below and learn more about my various offerings. Now, if you found value in this video, please help me reach more people. All you need to do is click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and best of all, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And if you have any questions, leave a question down below. I may even answer your question in a future video. 
All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here with me. I am sending you so much love and healing, and I want you to have a beautiful day.